we are in 2020 but there is one question in everyone's mind even in 2020 and that is what they should learn whether it should be flutter or it should be react native it should be android native or native ios so if you also have this question then this video is for you and i have made this video based on my four key points and it's totally my point of view how i see things so if you are interested then keep watching till the end So guys, um, when we talk about, you know, app development options, then there are a lot of options and uh, Flutter is one of them. React Native is another native uh, Android and iOS development was always there. So what you should choose, right? So these four things which I'm going to talk about will be based on ABCD. So ABCD is very easy to remember. So that's why I chose these terms. And so that, you know, you can also remember these four parameters which I'm going to give you. So the first one is A. A means achieve. OK, so my first uh, like question from you would be what you want to achieve or what you want to build actually. So maybe you are making another snapchat or maybe you are making some application which will be based on augmented reality or maybe it can be something related to iot so if any of this is your answer then you have to pick what can be the best option for you for this particular use case so let's say if you are making something related to augmented reality so you know that you know augmented reality works like very differently on android and very differently on ios so uh differently means that you know on android it's using ar core and on ios it is using ar kit so it will be very difficult for you to have a cross-platform solution which can deal efficiently with both of those libraries so that's when you will think of like you know going native is always a best solution so in that case i will suggest native android as well as native ios development rather than going to any cross platform it's not like it is not possible but then it is possible but yes there can be challenges and if you don't want to take those challenges if you are a startup then definitely it does not make any sense to take that risk same thing can happen in case of iot or any other case where you have to totally dependent on the operating system somehow or maybe the hardware is really important for you so i would suggest to go native in that case because it will just reduce those chances of failures for you in the future second point is b which is stands for business okay so if you are living in india or even in many countries there are a lot of service based companies so if you are learning in terms of getting a job then business is really very important uh, aspect okay why because these service based companies are like you know um, talking about these kind of solutions in internally in their team which can help them in getting the output as well as well as it can reduce the cost and it can also fulfill all the requirements so in that case i personally believe that flutter or even react native can be a really good option because you know it reduces the cost it gives you uh, something which is which can be used you, you know uh, for um, any kind of uh, data related app or even other applications which you might have seen like you know um, maybe Flipkart, Amazon. Yes, uh, I personally think from business point of view, I would always say that, uh, you know, uh, go with any cross platform framework or maybe library or a platform. So why I'm saying this because, you know, how many companies are actually Facebook, Google, Microsoft or any, you know, giant companies which recently got funded or maybe which is all already funded. So uh, they're not you know a huge list of that so of, of of course there are many small companies which are dealing with app development and they would definitely like to pick something like flutter or react native okay so from business point of view i personally think that uh, you know cross platform can be a really good solution third point or c is career okay how you see your career if you are someone who wants to be in web then i can definitely say that if you are in web and want to do app development then you should probably choose react native because if you are doing react from a long time and then if you think that now i should also try doing 
mobile app development or you have a use case where you want to develop mobile apps then definitely react native can be easier for you to understand as well as it can solve your problems or maybe if it is not solving your problem or your uh, if you are not able to you know build something which you wanted to build then maybe you can look for other options but yes if you want your career in web and you want to also do mobile app development then maybe react native can be a better option and let's say if you are looking for something specific to you know android or if you want to make your career in android because it's in existence from a long time and as well as you know there are a lot of lot of jobs for android as well as i'm saying the same thing for ios so then maybe you should definitely go to native android or native ios development if you are someone who is starting their career and haven't done any kind of you know haven't worked on any kind of framework or anything and uh, at least knows or want to learn one programming language then also i would suggest to go with native android because in that scenario you will learn a lot of things which maybe if you will directly pick a framework or something then maybe you won't have that much deep understanding of that particular operating system as well as how things works so in that in that case also i would suggest to go with the native android development or native ios development okay and the third is like if you see your career like you have sufficient experience or if you have already worked with android native android and native ios and then you want to explore more stuff if you see like you can have like you know career in maybe you can have different option if you want to um, just say to employers that you know i have uh, i have been working with native android as well or native ios as well and now i have explored flutter or react native as well then you can also treat it as like you know additional benefits to have you in their company so yes um, that also makes sense when you want to learn something like flutter or react native and even let's say if you see that flutter is growing a lot in recent years that's what i have seen so definitely as a career also you can see or you can choose flutter and uh, definitely it, it 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 is not a bad decision at all because you know uh, people are you know having all these jobs for flutter as well so yes that's also not a bad option now my fourth point or d point is distribution so when you are making a product it's very important to understand where you want to distribute it so let's say if you want to distribute it on like only android then definitely it makes sense to make it in uh, you know native uh, android app development is a better option for you if you want to just distribute it to ios then native ios development is a better choice here if you want to distribute on web and maybe you want to have something like a pwa later then maybe going to react vue js is a better option rather than and maybe in future you can also try you know uh, ionic um there are other options like uh, react native and even um many options available so yes that's again a something but let's say if you have a very small team if you have a very small budget if you have like uh, you know if you don't have that much money then and and you want to distribute it to android as well as ios web maybe desktop also then flutter can be a really good choice and even react native if you have experience with react or maybe if you have something like you know um, web experience or if you have worked on dart earlier so all these options can be true even kotlin is also working on these kind of things so maybe uh, later you will see that um, android is also coming uh, for like using kotlin it, it is also providing you the same thing so yes it depends on where you want to distribute your application and what kind of budget you have uh, like how many people are working in your team so yeah it depends on all these points so my conclusion would be it doesn't matter like what others are saying you should definitely try this and depending on your experience and depending on your use case depending on your requirements you should choose the right option and then i would suggest to give some time to like every platform because you know learning always needs some patience as well so if you are stuck somewhere then don't think that this this particular uh, like framework or sdk is bad because it's it's it requires some time so yeah that's one thing second thing is that uh, when someone says that uh, react native sucks or native android development sucks 
of flutter sucks it's it's not really something which you have to actually listen to because maybe it it can be really good for someone and it can be really bad for someone it depends from person to person use case to use case so again this op opinion is also not something which you actually have to believe it's, you should believe yourself you should believe on what you have seen then um, one more thing is that you know um, there will be always competition it's not like something is replacing some other thing so yes there are different use cases there are different options and when you have these kind of option then you have to choose the right option for your use case so that's that's what i think and that's what i would want to suggest to you guys so i hope that you will remember this a b c d a achieve b business c career and d distribution and i hope that uh, but definitely helps you in choosing the right platform for your application so that's it about this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please share this video with your friends or maybe colleagues and also subscribe to the channel if you are not a subscriber already press the bell icon to get future updates and this t-shirt is from the dart side so there's another youtube channel of my friend uh, if you are someone who wants to learn dart and Flutter in spanish then you can check this particular channel the link is also in the description and also guys uh, please make sure that um, before you choose any platform just try to you know give it some time check it out that how it's working for you and then choose the best one